Hey everyone, this is Luke with Flip It Disc Golf. This is our first video in the channel. We have Mike and Luke playing around at Buell Park in Hermitage, PA, which is about an hour and a half north of Pittsburgh, which is where we're both from. And getting into the video, hole one is a 404 foot par four. So a very short par four to start out with. And here's Mike's drive. In, an, in most situations, this should be an absolute must-get birdie. Uh, there is OB left with the road and OB behind the basket. So it is a tricky green, but it's so short that it should be the the upshot. The upshot should be easy. Mike throws his upshot a little too far there, goes OB, but he isn't tapping par. I get very close with this birdie putt. Uh, it ends up rolling in OB for a long time and then it ends up coming back in for my par putt but I end up missing my par putt and getting a bogey a hole 2 is a 210 foot par 3 just right at it Mike throws a good forehand shot here I am throwing a glitch trying to go right at it it's hard to see but pretty much gets really close um, I think it just flashed right in front of the basket but was very close to being an ace Mike picks up his par and here's my birdie putt from about 18 feet and it's not a great putt but it goes in so through two we're both even Hole three is a bit of a longer par four, 491 feet, but still very gettable and it's wide open. Just throw it as far as you possibly can off the tee. I throw a nuke here. I don't get it to flip up as much as I wanted to, um, but I still get pretty far down the fairway. Mike's throwing his destroyer. A similar situation. It uh, flex shot and gets pretty far down the fairway. Mike with a, I believe it was an Undertaker, just turns it over a little too much and, and fades out, but um, I was pretty happy with this shot. I threw a mid-range here, but just still landed about 35 feet short. Mike with a jump putt from 120 feet, maybe. Should be an easy par. And just missed the birdie putt, but we'll clean up for our pars here. Still even through three holes. Hole four is a 216 foot par four. We both thought it was a par three. We saw the distance of 216 feet and just assumed it was a par three like most 216 foot holes. Um, so we were playing it as a par three and like trying to get as far up the hill as possible. Um, we may have played it differently if we knew it was a par four, but who knows. Mike uh, turns this one over a little bit too much. He's about pin high. Here I am for my up shot. Go with the glitch again. And shot. I'm parked for my birdie, What I but what I thought was a par. Mike oh. just misses his what would have been a birdie putt. Um, there's a, quite a few cage hits that are very close putts throughout this round. I tap in my birdie. Mike unfortunately chains out for his par. Um, hole five is a 391 foot par four. Another just pretty much wide open throw as hard as you can. There's not really any danger except for the trees that I ran into. We have Mike's uh, destroyer shot. Still really good distance. And just a jump putt for the upshot for birdie. He lands it to about 15 feet and similarly I have a, sh a slightly shorter jump putt but I don't give it enough and it becomes a tester Mike sinks his birdie putt and I cannot putt today 
I'm one under Mike is even. Hole six is a par five, 796 feet. Another pretty much wide open sh tee shot. Uh, Mike opts to go to the right side there, which ended up being a really good play. Left him wide open for a second shot. I kind of go for more of a placement shot shorter, um, which I thought was a good shot, but then it ends up being slightly pinched off by this tree here. I set my nuke out wide, but um, I set it out a little too wide, and so it doesn't end up coming back to the fairway. Mike throwing his destroyer on the flex line. Uh, flexes out a little bit too early and lands in the rough, but he's almost pin high. And I'm pitching out with a jump putt from the rough and should be able to clean up my birdie from there. Same with Mike, just a little jump putt and tucks it onto the basket. Here we are both cleaning up for our birdies. Again, very short par five, right. but a fun one nonetheless. I'm two under, Mike is one under. Hole seven, par three, 317 feet. Another one that's just right in front of you. Throw a forehand or backhand. The only danger is the road behind the basket. I'm throwing my Star Eagle here. I get good distance on it. Just send it out a little too wide, um, but I'm pin high. And I just cannot putt. Mike gives good it a bid. good bid. We clean up our pars. I'm still two under. Mike is one under. Hole eight it is par three, 292 feet, just downhill. Bends to the right. Mike's forehand hits a tree. I throw a mocking jay. Which I've never forehanded before, and it just goes immediately left. Nothing but to pitch out here. Mike's up shot gets to about circle's edge. And my up shot hits a tree and lands to about circle's edge. Hole nine is probably the shortest hole we've ever played. Par three, 133 feet. Mike throws a nice six. skip shot forehand right under the basket. I think that a jump putt is the only way to guarantee I'm going to get through this gap. And I square up a tree and pitch up. Try to give it a bid, but can't putt. And Mike has a tap in birdie. Nice bird. Through nine holes. I'm even, and Mike is minus one.